You're listening to Crazy Shit in Real Estate. You'll be amazed at all these wild but true situations that others have found themselves in. Because on this show, you'll hear uncensored, unbelievable stories from the world of real estate. I'm Lee Brown. Let's dive right in. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Crazy Shit in Real Estate. Today, I want to address a recent episode that has caused some concern among our listeners. Many concerned citizens from Northern Idaho have reached out to me regarding a recent guest who apparently misrepresented the value of her real estate investments. The controversial episode was one of the craziest stories I've covered on the show, but not in the way I want to represent real estate or myself or frankly, any community. So I don't want to name any more names. We're not going to bring any more attention to this guest, good or bad, but it's clear there have been issues and there's no ill intent on my part. I want to reassure y'all that when I aired that episode, I was going off of the information I had received about a unique and interesting story. And frankly, there was information I didn't have. So I apologize for airing something that I didn't have full information on. I do have a vetting process for my guest. But I only get so much information. As y'all know, the information industry is incredibly fragmented. And depending on which channel and which network you're on, you only get as much information as is there. Now, this recommendation had come from a reputable speaker bureau. And I do take responsibility for airing the episode. And I have shared these concerns with that bureau regarding the misinformation that was presented by this guest. In fact, I'm not going to take any more suggestions from this bureau until I know for sure that their guests have been vetted more thoroughly than I can do and that I'll be bringing you good, reliable information. I mean, I take your trust very seriously and I want to bring you the best content possible. So what that means is that an episode like this that hits a nerve with a town and where there are fights going on that are happening locally, I want to see good change come forward. And I would love to highlight any of the improvements that happened from the folks who saw this. As a result, we've taken down this episode. My podcast team and I discussed it. We've read the comments and the emails, and we apologize for any of the harm it may have caused or any of the hurt feelings or any of the bad information that was put out there. We apologize. I took it down. There may still be some social media content out there circulating, but I've done everything I can do on this end. In conclusion, I hope that every follower and subscriber continues to tune in because there are crazy stories out there that happen in and around real estate. HGTV ain't got nothing on real life as an episode like this absolutely confirms. It also confirms that in an era of really direct information, sometimes you don't get all angles. So we should always be asking more questions, being more curious, and frankly, listening to more stories. And when something appears, it doesn't look or smell right, that we take action and responsibility and take it down. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep bringing you unique and interesting stories from across the world of real estate. I appreciate you tuning in to this little oddball episode. Let me know if you want to appear on the show and if you've been vetted properly too. And in the meantime, we'll keep going because there's nothing I love more than the crazy world of real estate. As always, I'm so super thrilled that you joined in for more crazy shit. And if you're a realtor, investor, inspector, lender, or just a regular human being who happens to have an unbelievable story that you need to tell the world about, or frankly, you just need to one of the story you just heard, then make sure to DM me on Instagram at Lee Thomas Brown or tweet me at Lee Brown or frankly, any social network where you hang out, I'm there. And if you had some fun, then you totally want to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. 